Well, thanks for giving me the benefit of the doubt. Um, I don't know how fun it'll be, but uh, we'll give it a shot. So people always want to know where I'm from. Uh, I tell them I'm from the land of One Lake, Cleveland, Ohio. <laughs> and, and they ask, where are you really from? And I know what they're getting at, so I say, well, I'm really from the suburb of Cleveland. <laughs> and, and, uh, I lived in the Detroit, Michigan area for 13 years. And believe it or not, I didn't get murdered once. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but I've been here a long time. I still can't get used to Minnesota English. I mean, in most of the world, it's parking garage, not parking ramp. I don't know if you guys know that. <laughs> and some people say things like, I'm going to borrow you $20 in Minnesota, which is the exact opposite of what it means, which makes no sense. Um, but the worst one is that game for kids. You guys call it Duck, Duck, Gray Duck. It should actually be Duck, Duck, Goose. Um, duck Duck Gray Duck is either racist or ageist or both. <laughs> oh my god. That was bad. <laughs> you guys don't even care. Um, but I'm Indian, and uh, so I'm good at spelling. I was actually one word away from going to Washington, D.C., a true story. Uh, I won a TV, and the winner won an encyclopedia set. <laughs> Remember those? And uh, she had to study more. Uh, I got a plaque from my middle school that said, congratulations on Tool Patel for outstanding representation. <laughs> I swear to God, it's true. So I figured I should have sold my TV and bought a spell checking computer for the school or something like that. That'd be nice. Uh, but when I fill out forms and ask for my race, I get tired of checking the box for Asian or Pacific Islander. Uh, Indians deserve our own checkbox because we're different than East Asian people like Chinese people. Uh, we win the spelling bees, and we suck at the Olympics. <laughs> That's a true story. Uh, <laughs> I still can't believe people are doing gender reveal parties these days. Uh, if you think about it, babies invented these about 200,000 years ago. Uh, what they do is they hide inside a woman's vagina, or birth canal, or whatever you want to call it, and then they come out one day with their genitals uncovered, and they're like, surprise! I'm either a boy or a girl. And nothing blows up, nothing explodes, it catches fire. It's, it's a great system. Uh, <laughs> these are all new, so thanks for bearing with me. But uh, parents, uh, can't live with them, don't exist without them, right? Anybody here got parents? <laughs> but uh, my mom, she's really great. We call her micro mom because she can cook anything in the microwave. <laughs> and she's four foot nine, uh, which is true. <laughs> so I'm kind of like a giant compared to her. We're still not sure how that happened. Um, <laughs> but I snore and I'm kind of loud and people always guilt me for snoring as if I do it on purpose. <laughs> I mean, why do you keep waking me up to like stop snoring? One of us has to get some rest. <laughs> Oh, uh, and I'm a big fan of chips and salsa. It's my favorite snack of all time. Uh, but I have this problem, like I'll eat some chips and salsa, then I'm like, I'll just have one more chip. But then it needs more salsa, right? So I put more salsa on it, but then I feel like I still need some more chip to finish out my session. And then I get more chips and then more salsa. It's, it's, it's a horrible, vicious cycle, and it doesn't end, doesn't end until I finish either the chips or the salsa. Gosh, nobody else has a problem. You guys don't get the good chips and the good salsa. Uh, but I'm five foot eight, and uh, so I'm not tall, but, so I'm kind of short, but I kind of like my height. Uh, it's like getting Comfort Plus seating for free on Delta. And, uh, you know, I mean, the tall guys get all the ladies, no matter how boring you are. But uh, we get to watch them squirm and try to fit into the seats of, on the plane or the back seats of cars and we can laugh at them, so that's kind of cool. Uh, let's see, I'll type one more. How about some nerdy jokes? So they say 30 is the new 20 and 40 is the new 30. Well, that makes 10 the new time to cut the umbilical cord. I think that's kind of disgusting. <laughs> I'm a part-time psychic. I only work when I'm right. <laughs> the last one is, uh, you know, the smartest pets are the ones that don't do tricks. <laughs> All right, thanks a lot. My name is Atul Patel. Atul Patel! Keep it over the next couple years, age. Uh, <laughs> in, in just total? Sure. Okay, sweet.